Today, the Australian Maritime Safety Authority had planned a visual search area totaling approximately 37,948 square kilometers. The center of the search area lies approximately 1,584 kilometers northwest of Perth. However, planned air search activities have been suspended for today due to poor weather conditions in the search area. Three aircraft had already departed for today's search area prior to the suspension taking effect. They have been recalled. Current weather conditions are resulting in heavy seas and poor visibility and are making air search activities ineffective and potentially hazardous. The 12 ships involved in today's search will continue with their planned activities. Bluefin 21 AUV is currently completing mission 10 in the underwater search area. Bluefin 21 has now completed more than 80% of the focused underwater search area. No contacts of interest have been found today. The focused underwater search area is defined as a, circ as a circle of 10 kilometers radius around the second toad finger located detection, which occurred on the 8th of April. On the international investigation team, um, the cabinet has deliberated and approved this morning the appointment of an international investigation team to investigate the NH370 incident. The Ministry of Transport has been tasked to draft the terms of reference for the investigation team. And as I announced previously, the subcommittee led by Aziz Kaprawi, the Deputy Minister of Transport, has been assigned the task to coordinate the formation of the international investigation team. On that note, Malaysia as the contracting state and a council member of the International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO, will observe and comply with the standards and recommended practices of ICAO set mainly to look into the safety of international civil aviation. The main purpose of the international investigation team is to evaluate, investigate and determine the actual cause of the accident so similar accidents could be avoided in the future. I would also like to note that the investigation will not include criminal aspects which are under the purview of the Royal Malaysian Police. This investigation will be carried out in accordance with the Civil Aviation Regulation 1966 and the standards set under Annex 13, Aircraft Accidents and Incidents Investigation, the Chicago Convention, which requires each party to investigate air accidents independently with full powers in their respective countries. The Aviation Accident Investigation Bureau, BSKU, Bureau Siasatan Kemalangan Udara, which was established since December 2011 under the Ministry of Transport will act as the secretariat for this investigation team. The investigation team will include three groups, an airworthiness group to look into issues such as maintenance, records, structures and systems, an operational group to examine flight recorders, operations and meteorology, and thirdly, a medical and human factors group to investigate issues such as psychology, pathology and survival factors. We are also discussing to appoint experts from other ASEAN countries in accordance with the ASEAN MOU on cooperation related to aircraft accident and incident investigation that was signed in 2008. We are in the process of identifying the members and their accredited representatives and will be recruiting the members for the team in accordance with the international standards. We will announce the name of the members next week. Indeed, it is imperative for the government to form an independent team of investigators, which is not only competent and transparent, but also highly credible. As I've consistently said since the beginning, we have nothing to hide.